All right, what's going on, people? This is Boy Theo here, and this is a real talk. I'm back. I'm back. Um, apologies for not making videos lately. I have been working really, really hard over the last uh, few weeks or so. So apologies for that. Um, but anyways, I'm back. I'm here talking about the travel industry and what a mess it has been. What a mess. So let's start with the rail strikes that's going down tomorrow, shall we? Like we know that the talks that been trying to stop the strikes from happening, but it's happening. Now I even read um, a couple of hours ago. I've read um, about the rail condition, the rail um, employees, the the people that work on the rail lines up and down this country. I've read about their their um, their. Um, read about their ordeal shall we say and even they was like been doing like slavery work and i can understand where they're coming from it's not great when you know that the conditions are not really met they're not doing enough to actually um help um having that work-life balance um it's crazy it is crazy and um the strikes i know that it's going to impact on the way people work, the way people live, the way people go about their business. Um, I can understand that's going to happen. Now, I know that there's going to be 20% of trains up and down the country that will be running. Now, um, as of probably right now, by the time you watch this video, the the the, the, the capacity was around about something like um, 90%, something like that, that's, that's been running. Um, but they're going to be running like on a re very, very reduced timetable. So the last train, for example, um, from London, I think, to get to here in Birmingham would be after four. The last train would run from. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's it's mad. Um, but I do share sympathy with them, and obviously, is there's going to be a spike in um, other companies taking on strikes as well because. You know, obviously, we come back to the cost of living crisis where everything is going up. Fuel is going up. Food is going up. Everything that we've hold dear is going up. And and at the end of the day, I did not expect to come out of the pandemic like this. But it is. This is what's going on. And we're almost heading into a recession. In fact, by the time you watch this video, we're probably, we are going to be in a recession. There's no two ways about it. So, um, yeah, I look, I don't like it any more than you do. You know, um, I, I do enjoy taking the train um, whenever chance I get. Um, but I am, um, but I'm saddened for the, the people that work on the, the, the National Rail um, up and down the country. Um, it's it's tough for them and it's a tough job what they what they do having to you know organize everything having to keep um, um, the passengers safe having to make sure that the, the 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 trains are running on time supposedly um and and keeping the, the and keeping it safe for for um, for us to use so I, I understand where they're coming from I do I do I do even more bigger news now, we know that obviously the the, uh, the the aviation industry have been suffering. There's been suffering now for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, the notion of actually going on holiday now is like thinking to myself, thinking like, what's the point of actually you know moving our flights and um, what's the, what's the point of actually going on holiday, knowing that um, there's going to be queues, knowing that there's luggage actually left behind. I watch Good Morning Britain as you do, as you do, as I do every morning, and I watch Nick Dixon, who was reporting from um, um, Rwanda, and um, uh, he said that a colleague of his, um, he actually had a tracker on his phone, and he um, basically tracked his luggage. He thought that the trackage, the 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 um the luggage was actually in Amsterdam. No, it was actually in Heathrow. Whilst they are in Miranda, that's mad. If you can actually surmise that, like people are wondering like where to get their luggage and everything else, knowing that they gotta go to somewhere else, that's worrying. That's bad. And the reason why for all of that is because there's no staff. There's no staff. The pandemic, right? 
the pandemic hit the avian uh, aviation industry really, really, really bad. Yeah. And it's caused many people to leave that job and do something else. I don't know how they're going to get that st their staff back because if they're going to do something else and they're better for it, why would they go into a, Why would they go back into the job? I don't know how they're going to do it. I really don't. So yeah, look, it is a really, really messed up situation for the aviation industry, and in in turn, I do blame the aviation industry for like advertising um, holidays. You know, you know, we know that Jet Two have cancelled flights, EasyJet's cancelled flights, Tui have cancelled flights, even the major airlines have actually ca um, have cancelled flights, like Virgin, like British Airways, like. They wanted this to, to get off the ground. They wanted people to get moving. And I wanted things to, to, to get back into to some form of normality as we come out of the pandemic. However, however, because of like what's happened, it should have been in stages where it should have been a slow process where they can try and get everybody flying again. It's become, the demand is, is greater than ever for people to want to go on holiday. Because I can understand the need for one to go on holiday. When you don't see your loved ones who are living abroad for so long. When you like want to be able to go somewhere to just relax and get away from the stresses and strains of, of, of life as we call it. I get that. I totally get that. But we're in a mess. We are, we are in a mess. You know, like I said, cost of living crisis what's going on in ukraine it's it's all culminating to a fact now where i sometimes wonder about the world i wonder about the world that that we live in i want i wanted so much to live in a better world but now it's just all crazy you know and i just don't know what, what's going to happen you know in this generation i've seen i've seen i've seen hardships and it's getting more harder it's harder now for people to move on and do great things with their lives it's hard it's, it's harder it's harder still and it shouldn't be hard we should be doing things to make it easier for one another but instead we've got people who who don't really care about that people who would rather see themselves like being rich being um in a certain in a certain place and the other people are try are, are that over here just literally just scraping down um a barrel just to try and keep m's meat and it shouldn't really be the case people shouldn't really be suffering and people shouldn't really be profiting from that suffering people should be able to come together and say okay let's do something that we could actually help each other let's do something that could actually benefit everybody but what do i know i'm just a guy that happens to make a youtube video and based on what i feel and what i think don't know what you think but let me know in the comments section below let me know what you think hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell beside it that will tell you when i upload um a video and don't forget to like this video please like it it would help me a lot and um i'll be back with another video soon in the meantime people i'm gonna go inside because i need to rest up i've got a long day tomorrow and uh i'll be back with another video soon not too long, I hope, but I'll be back soon. Peace out, people. Thanks for watching.